Every time we interact with another person at work, we have a choice to make. Do we try to claim as much value as we can, or contribute value without worrying about what we receive in return? Hi Kenny. Hi Sherry. Ah, uh, has someone been going through my desk? What do you mean? Well, I have a file missing. Has you know who been at my desk? Now Sherry, don't start. You remember what happened the last time? What do you mean, don't start? I have a right to know. Yes, but you sound upset. Maybe you should take a minute to calm down. I am calm. Hey Felicia, did you mess with my desk? Wait, is she yelling at me? Girl, I will talk to you later. Hello Sherry, are you talking to me? Well, of course, I am. Did you take something off my desk? Well, it sounds like, yelling to me not talking. I am not yelling, I just want to, know who touched my stuff. Well, maybe you should ask first, before flying off the handle. I'm not flying off the handle but I know it was you, who took something from my desk. Okay. So on top of it you are accusing me without asking me. First of all, I asked the first time, and you pretended not to hear me. Excuse me, what is going on here? I can hear both of you down the hallway. Well, she took a file off my desk and didn't even leave a note. What? How did you come up with that? Listen, I am the one who took the file. Sherry, may I see you in my office? Sherry, this is the second time, I am talking to you about losing your temper and yelling in the workplace. Is there something wrong? I, uh... I found out my husband might be having an affair. Oh Sherry, I am so sorry to hear that. This must be so stressful for you. Do you want to talk about it? I'm so sorry I blew up, but... This is how I have been feeling. Six reasons why I yell at other employees. 1. Emotional distress. I feel overwhelmed by my problems and feel a release of pent-up frustration when yelling at co-workers. 2. Coping mechanisms I haven't come to terms with my problems. So I yell at co-workers as a way to express my feelings. 3. Displaced emotions. I allowed my personal problems to come into the workplace, which led to my aggressive behavior. 4. Impatience. I feel stressed from my problems and have low tolerance, leading to my getting angry very quickly. 5. Out of control. I feel helpless and lack self-control when dealing with my problems, so I try to regain some control at work. 6. Distorted reasoning. I am emotionally unbalanced, and it clouds my judgment, causing me to misinterpret situations at work. I appreciate you being honest, Sherry. But I want you to go home and take some personal time. Okay, Maggie I will, and I am so. Sorry again. Hi Maggie, you wanted, to see me? Um, oh yes, Felicia, thanks for coming in. I sent Sherry home because she had some personal issues. But I wanted to talk about what happened with her earlier. Okay. I know that Sherry got a bit out of control and accused you of taking her file, which is not acceptable. But I wanted to ask you to not engage with her in the future should that happen again. Excuse me? How is it I am being talked to about my defending myself? Is it because I'm black? Felicia, that thought hasn't even crossed my mind here. Why would you say something like that? Well, I will tell you why. Six reasons why I feel I am being singled out. 1. Past experiences. I feel that I have been discriminated against in the past and want to make sure it doesn't happen again. 2. Lack of diversity. I feel there are not many people of color working here, and I sometimes feel misunderstood. Three. Subtle biases. 
I have encountered bias from some personnel, and when I get negative feedback, I wonder if it's racially motivated. 4. Unequal treatment. I have seen unequal treatment of certain employees, and it appeared to be because of their race. 5. Discipline disparities. I have seen cases where employees of color have been counseled for the same infraction where others have not. 6. Stereotyping. I have experienced that when something happens, it appears that employees of color are singled out first. Oh Felicia, I am sorry you experienced those things in the past. But since I have been here, I hope you haven't felt that I have been unfair to you in any regard. No, I haven't had those experiences with you, but I just want to remind you that Sherry yelled at Kenny the last time. Oh, I see, perhaps I wasn't being clear. Sherry's behavior has been and is being addressed. I am only asking you not to engage because it was loud and disruptive to the office. I would prefer you bring it to my attention instead. Okay, I understand now. If I engage with her, it looks like we are both at fault. I will recommend we come to talk to you if it should happen again. Thanks for understanding Felicia. But I am strongly hoping it does not happen again with you or anyone else. Thank you so much for watching. Please click like and subscribe then comment and share with others.